I'm sure that you have seen these would you rather have videos on YouTube and TikTok. To be honest, these types of videos are highly engaging and a lot of people love to watch them. Therefore, it's very easy to get a lot of views and subscribers for a channel like this. This new channel, which is Brainiest, has 19,000 subscribers with only 37 videos. They have started this channel in April 2023. Since they post only long videos, they are probably making a lot of money through this channel. And this is another example channel, which is The Daily Quiz. They have 1.87 million subscribers only with 151 videos. According to The Social Blade, they are making around $14,000 a month. This value is correct because they also post only long video content. The only problem is a lot of people are doing the same thing and creating the same type of videos for this would you rather niche. Don't worry, in the next few minutes, I will give you a new unique idea for this niche that no one has done before. So the people who watch this video first have a good chance of going viral. The most important question is, can we monetize a channel like this? The answer is yes, but you have to follow these exact steps that I'm about to teach to get monetized. For this process, we will use some AI tools as well. Without further ado, let's start. So. What we are going to do is create would you rather video version of superheroes. We can make comparisons between two superheroes, or we can make the comparisons between teams. Let me show you an example video. Would you rather possess Superman's strength or possess Spider-Man's agility? What? I thought Spidey was the most popular hero. Would you rather master Thor's lightning or master Doctor Strange's magic? Let's start with ChatGPT. Just follow these steps. I have made this special prompt to generate the questions we need. You can just copy this prompt and I will leave this in the description. As you can see, I have asked ChatGPT to create eight series of comparisons between two superheroes that will make viewers engage with my comment section. And I added an example to get a clear output. Then I asked it to give random percentages of how people are likely to respond to options. Finally, I asked it to give all this information in a table. You will see why this is important in the next few minutes. Just like this, you can get all the information in a table. Now go to Canva, select Create Design, and type YouTube Shorts. We are going to make a video template. After you select this correct template, go to Elements and drag this square shape onto this template. Make it bigger so that it covers half of the surface area, and let's change its color to red. Duplicate it and cover the other part of the surface, then change its color. I will add a blue color to this. Then, add another thin square shape in the middle of this two layer, just like this. Add a circle in the middle of this thin layer and change its color to black as well. Now, add a text layer like this. I will copy one of the questions we generated to here. We can change this font to a good looking font and some effects to stand out more. I will add a black stroke to this text like this. Then, duplicate this text layer by holding the Alt key and dragging it down, then place it here. Let's change its text to another option. Then, we need to add two more text layers for the percentages, as we did before. Duplicate the text layers and add the correct percentages. And let's change the highest percentage color to green and the lowest percentage color to red. Now, place these two percentage layers on top of the other text layers like this. Now, we need to add image layers. Go to the element, drag these image layers to the surface area, adjust its size like this, and duplicate it, and bring it down. Then, add another text layer to the middle circle and rename it to OR. We can increase the duration of this template to 7 seconds. You can do it by changing the length of this timeline. Now go to the elements and search for a clock. We need to add a timer graphic to this and add it to the middle of this circle just like this. Now let's edit the appearing time frames of these layers. For that, right click on these layers and select show timing. By changing this purple layer on the timeline, we can edit the show time. The first option should appear at the beginning of the video and it should last till the final sixth second. So I will drag this purple layer till the sixth second. Then the second option should appear after the first 1.5 seconds. So let's skip the first 1.5 seconds and drag it till the sixth second. Then the first image layer should appear with the first text option at the same time. And the second image should appear after the first 1.5 seconds. The middle part, which is the or layer, should disappear after the first three seconds. And the stopwatch should appear after the first three seconds. Edit it like this to match the timing of each of these layers. 
Finally, the percentage layers should appear after the first six seconds, and it should last until the end. So after editing this timing, it should look like this. Then select all layers and add a suitable animation from the top menu. Now we need to add sound effects. Go to Elements, type Baseball Swish, and select this sound. Drag it to the timeline. We need to add these sound effects to the start of the video, then to the second option, and finally, we should add this sound effect to percentages. So drag and drop it in a suitable place. Also, we need to add a clock ticking sound effect to the stopwatch. It should be three seconds long. So add sound effects like this. Now select all the layers by pressing Shift and selecting these layers one by one. We are going to add some slide animations. After you select the layers, go to Animations and select a suitable animation like this. Now, we need to download these sound effects because in Canva we can't duplicate sound effects at once. Do this trick. Delete all the layers that we created and download this empty template only with sound effects. After that, press Ctrl plus Z to undo the deleting. Now go to the Uploads and upload the downloaded template here. Then add this template as a background layer like this. Then place this downloaded layer at the back. For that, right click and select layers, then click send to back. So, it will sound like this. Now, our template is almost ready. We need to generate some images related to these superheroes. I will use Leonardo AI for that. Go to Leonardo AI and select a suitable AI model from here. I will select this model. I think this is suitable for our project. Now all you need to do is type here about the superhero you need. First, I will generate an image for Iron Man. Then, we need an image for Captain America. Check the table we created earlier and generate all the images for each superhero that has been mentioned in the table. This will take several minutes, but make sure to get the best result and eye-catching images for superheroes. After you generate all the images, go to Canva again. Now we can generate the all eight clips at once. First, upload all the images we generated to Canva like this. Then go to Apps and select Bulk Create from here. Then click this Enter Data Manually button. Clear this table. Now, go to ChatGPT again and get the table that we created earlier. Select All and press Ctrl plus C to copy this table. Then go to Canva and press Ctrl plus V to paste the table here. Now you need to add two new image columns like this. Let's rename these to image one and image two. Now you need to add the images we generated to these columns. So the first image one column represents Iron Man and image two represents the Captain America image. Just like this, add all the 16 images to these columns one by one. After you add all the images, press done. Now we need to link this information to our template. For that, right click on the layer and select connect data then select the suitable column from here. In this case, it should be the option A column. Do this for all other text layers. Then right click on these image layers and do that same thing. Connect these image layers to image one and image two columns. After that, you just need to press the continue button and then press the generate button. It will generate all your clips at once. As you can see here, we have generated all the clips. Now you need to check these clips one by one and adjust the text layers if there are any issues and also change the color of percentages if the color is wrong. After you edit these things, you can download the clips. Now we need to make voiceovers for these clips. I'm going to use 11 labs for that. Go to 11 labs and sign up for free. You can select a suitable voice from these AI voices. I'm going to select this AI voice called Josh. Now you just need to type, would you rather fight alongside Iron Man or fight alongside Captain America? And click the Generate button, just like this, create voiceovers for all eight clips. Just copy and paste the text from the table we created, and then get all the voiceovers into one folder. Now we need to make another voiceover, just be creative. I'm going to add some funny commentary after each clip. In the first clip, I will add something like this. Yeah, I thought so. Captain America is kinda an a-hole. For the second clip, I will add something like, What? I thought Spidey was the most popular hero. Just like that. Add some funny phrases after each clip. It will improve the creativity of your video. This will help you to get your channel monetized. Finally, we are going to use CapCut to edit this video. You can download CapCut for free. It's a free video editing software. Create a new project. Click this Modify button from the side menu and select the suitable size, which is a 16 to 9 ratio and then click Import button and import all the voiceovers and videos. Now, drag these video clips to the timeline like this. 
We need to freeze this footage when percentages appear and add the voiceovers. For that, click these three lines, select Export Still Frame, and click Export. It will save as a screenshot image. Then add that image here, like this. Then drag the first voiceover under the first clip, then add the commentary voiceover under the frozen image that we just created, and adjust its duration. Then repeat the same process for every eight clips. After that, you can add background music for this clip. I will use pixabay.com for that. Download suitable background music and import it to CapCut, then add it here. Make sure to reduce its volume to match the audio of this video. Now you can export this video and upload it to YouTube or TikTok. I hope you learn a new thing from this video. I will see you in the next one.